It's been 84 years. But we finally have Shadow and Bone, the full season two trailer. But a few days before this, they did also give us a 30 second clip of the Darkling. And I just knew that that wasn't gonna be a lot. So here's like the minute long clip that I filmed for that. We've been given a thing, but it's only a 30 second thing and I don't wanna make a full video about it. So you get me fresh from work, sitting on the floor, inserting this into the trailer reaction video, which we really should be getting that soon. The show's only like three weeks away. Shadow and Bone, Twitter, he is up. Okay. I don't really got anything to say about it. Um, it's information we already had because I've read the books. Yeah. Yes, I did dye my hair in between those days. But now the full trailer, um, I've seen a couple of tweets of people reacting to it and they said it looks good. So that's exciting because we've been hearing some like worrisome things about season two. And like this is probably the last season that we're going to have Alina and the Darkling. And probably won't see Nikolai for a while. We're going to get one season of Nikolai unless they bring him more into the Six of Crows story. Because this season is going to be Shadow and Bone books two and three. Which brings us to the end of that story. And then I'm assuming if they continue on, if they get renewed, Netflix. Then that'll go into the actual Six of Crows story. Um, and then... Yeah, we don't really see Nikolai in that, so if they keep going, will they get to King of Scars and do that? Anyway, let's react. Anyway, let's react, and I don't know if you can hear that, but someone in the building, I think, is just using a tap, and the pipes are squealing. It's really annoying. There we go, they turned it off. Thank you, let's react. Tram goes by. Go. Crows. Oh, yep, yeah, they're in Nova Cures Brick. So that's happening. But Alina's not on the thing. He's back. Alina survived that. Okay, you know about this. You are Alina Starkov. We almost had on the line. Finish what you started. Okay. You with me? The flying ship. Is that Matthias or I promise that you and I will change the world. Himself? It isn't magic. The church. Who's that? Are you willing to sacrifice that which is most precious to you? No, she's not. They're always put together. That was good. Alrighty. Oh my god, the person with the pipes is going again. Yeah, that looks intense. And I can see, again, where they've taken things from the books, but then, like, it does seem that they've changed it more. Like, Alina is dead set on getting these things, and then, like, is she willing to sacrifice everything? Book spoilers? No, she's not. She brings them back. But let's break this down crows because of course and then because it's the fold is expanding um, instead of Alina did they do it in the last one? oh my god I can't remember in last season if they did the expansion of the fold then or if this is Novo Curiousbrook and it's expanding then. But if it's expanding and then we saw Alina in it afterwards, no one survived that. So Alina survives going into like the fold expanding. 
And is everyone else going to survive or are they just going to be turned into Volker as well? And then where is everyone else? Because I'm assuming she's not far away from Mal. And she sees he's back. Mm. The fact that the crows are going to be much more involved in this plot is interesting because they were quite far removed from it in their original story. They're like, yeah, this thing happened essentially overseas. So now are they going to be fighting the shadow monsters as well? Or apparently can break windows and not just appear in rooms. Okay, this is going to be the palace. Oh, could it be the the birthday dinner for the older brother? He's gonna be dead because we d I can't remember his name, but like he wasn't featured in the first season at all. He was just standing at the back, and we learnt nothing about him. So, do we learn about him just so we can learn that he's an ass, so they can kill him? Ooh. Okay, um, so she's with Tamar. Is this the same, and is this the same Grisha, hmm, last name? She's not wearing Grisha clothes, but then neither is Alina at this point. Okay. She's got some, like, Scarlet Witch going on. And then Nikolai's oh, ship. Tolia's in the back there. Nikolai! Okay. Interesting. All three, and then there's Ilya, and then four pictures around him. And like, if you've read the books, again, spoilers, Firebird's not the amplifier. Someone's hand is there. I'm still bitter about the end of the books. Oh my god, I can't remember her name, I'm just having such a mental blink, but... The Darkling's mum. Okay, so she is... The person who's really pushing Alina in this. Are we gonna see her big come and get me moment? Was that the sea whip or the bird? I don't know, I can only very little see an eye. Talia, Tamar and a guy in a top hat. Oh, they were in the water. Oh my god. Yeah, they're in the water. Oh, and Mal's at the back there. So I'm guessing that was the sea whip. So they're gonna find it in a cave instead of just out in the ocean. Harry Styles added to a story I need to do if know if Perth is getting early merch. <gasps> Perth is getting early match, which means no one's gonna get early match! Oh my god, we were so stressed about getting match. I need to tell Lucy. Okay, back to Shadow and Bone. Now, is this right at the end there? No, we, we still don't know if she's doing the hair colour change. And we're flying! See, I never- this makes sense that they look like a, a ship going down and then flying. I don't know why, but any time they were described in the books, I just kind of imagined a big tray. This makes more sense. Adventure. Flying through the fold, so she's probably gonna see the Darkling and then all that happens. David and Jenya. I have a Rule of Wolves reading blog, which is also my Hellbent reading blog, if you want to see me react to them in that book. Oh, is this the teal coat? I didn't re see it on first watch because it's darker than I thought it was going to be. I always imagined this obnoxiously bright teal coat. But that's actually quite nice. I haven't. Oh, this is probably fighting with um, the Irish guys. Guys. Some cool shots of the crow. 
Um, is this him talking to Matthias? More in the fold. Oh, they're in the water. Okay, so that can't be in the fold then. That just must be nighttime. Is this when she gets the sea whips thing? I don't know why I'm trying to look at her hands because it's probably just going to merge into her again like they did with the collar. Okay, so this meeting, do we reckon she's actually there or do you reckon it's one of their psychic things? And are we gonna get a make out scene? <laughs> yep, I can't look at that thing on the back of his hand. Ugh. It's never going to happen. I'll destroy the only thing you have left. The only thing he has left, is that not himself? Or is this power? They're really showing off Alina's power here. Is this why it took so long you just needed to do all the CGI for the sun? Oh, and she's battling the Darkling here. And then, this has to be the church. Everyone is there. I don't see Alina. So is she behind them or is she in front of them? And then, is she going to tell them to go? Wait, is Kaz there? Kaz is there. And Jasper... Okay, so like everyone's there, um, but she's gonna tell them to go and then stop and then make out with the Darkling and then her hair turns white. Cause I wanna see Alina with her white hair. <gasps> Wylan and a butterfly, cause if he wasn't already such a cinnamon roll. Jenya, oh, this is probably right before disaster strikes. Matthias in the prison. Nina, she goes and gets him. Okay, now who is this? Oh, is that Alina and Mal? Ugh. Yeah, I think it's Alina and Mal. I mean, I don't hate TV Mal, but he's still not my first choice. Um, and then fire person, Infernite, that's what they're called. That works for the Darkling? Okay, he's got a couple of Infernites, heart renders. A squala, squala. I can't remember how to pronounce. Which is the most precious to me. And then have a moment. Tama. I already love her. Oh, and Wyland's about to blow something up. Um. Are we going to shoot Han? Yeah, you know, the aesthetics look like they could be Shuhan. Who is Inej fighting? Flying. Bulker attacking while they're flying. And then Zoya and Inej are together. I love it. I also, I want to see Zoya and Nina interact. Where are they? Cause like with this statue in the background, it like reminds me of the fold when the fold no longer exists. But also they're standing in a desert and they're dressed very warmly. <laughs> now fighting that Kaz going into the water. That's worrisome. Kaz, can you mentally handle that? Final showdown, probably? Oh, but if it's a final showdown, she doesn't have... 
the blonde hair. But they could also be faking us out and do that thing that Marvel does where they have slightly different versions of scenes in the trailer than they do the actual show. I am very much looking forward to that. I know I'm going to feel all the feels just because I care about the characters from what I know about their experiences in the books. It does seem that they're carrying on quite well from the changes that they made in the first book following through to here. I do hope people like the Shadow and Bone story a bit more in here because I'm one of the people who prefers Shadow and Bone to Six of Crows. And you know, maybe they will now because Nikolai and Tolia and Tamar. I very much just want to see the King of Scars story now like brought to life. I'm loving that we're seeing like a proactive Alina. I'm hoping that they change the ending because they've changed so much already. Why not change the ending? But I don't think they will change who she ends up with. Um, the crows, I'm still iffy on how they're going to be weaved into this story because like the first season it was, okay, Alina is something they need to get. But now they're working with Alina. How do you convince the crew to come together to do that? And especially Matthias. Because why would he help Grisha who aren't Nina? Wylan looks adorable. Jenya and David are going to give me all the feels. But hopefully we see like their happiness happen in this season. Yeah, and I'm just very intrigued to see how it'll all come together and end and then if it gets renewed for season 3. Comment down below what your favourite part of the trailer was or if you just want to let me know you were here. Comment either a sun emoji or a black heart emoji. Because you know, Alina and the Darkling. And please give this video a like, subscribe because I will be making a video per Shadow and Bone episode uh, they will not all drop at once they will just be released as i edit them i'm hoping for like one a day after i've finished filming but we shall see because that's a lot because these all drop at once and head over to these videos to see if there's anything you like here is something else shadow and bone related and here is something daisy jones in the suits related because i'm so excited for that show as well